Hello students. In this video, we're going to look at some ratios that have either um, decimals in them or ratios of fractions and show you how to simplify those. Now, the secret is, well, first thing is ratios in simplified form always have to have whole numbers. So you can't say that's simplified because it has a decimal in it. So what we have to do basically with these questions is get rid of the decimal. And with these questions, we've got to get a common denominator and then we can simplify from there. So decimals are actually pretty easy. Um, to get rid of a decimal, all you have to do is multiply by 10 or 100 or 1,000, some power of 10. So in this case, I'm just going to multiply by 10, move my decimal point back one place, and that means that the ratio can be written as 12 is to 6. And now I'm back to what I was doing before. Now I can go ahead and simplify that by, in this case, dividing both sides by 6. And 12 divides 6 is 2. 6 divides 6 is 1. One thing I might mention here is students that have a, a good number sense might be able to look at that and say, well, that number is just double that and go straight to the answer. And that's certainly uh, perfectly OK. We don't want to discourage students that have good number sense and say, oh, you can't use that. So therefore, you have to show all the working. So I would think in my case, I'd be quite happy if a student just wrote that answer. OK, let's have a look at um, this one. OK, here we have uh, just one number after the decimal point. Here we have two numbers. So here we're going to have to multiply by 100 in order to get rid of um, that decimal point. So move the decimal point two places to the right. And that means we're going to have 350 there. Move that one two places to the right, and we get 425. Well, I know that 25 goes into both of these. Let me try this in my head. So 425 is 100. So 300 is going to be a 12, and another 2, that gives me 14. So what I'm doing here is dividing by 25. So you can use a calculator if you wish to. Um, and 425 is 100, so 400 is 16 25s, plus one more is 17. And 17 is a prime number, so that's not going to simplify and 14 is not a factor of it, so therefore 14 is to, into, uh, sorry, 14 is to 17 is the simplified ratio. Okay, now if you have fractions, if they already have a common denominator, you can just say, therefore, the ratio 1 quarter to 3 quarters is just 1 is to 3. So effectively, you can ignore the denominator, or another way of thinking about it, multiply both of those fractions by 4, and you'll get that ratio. If the fractions don't have a common denominator, well, you can probably guess what you have to do. You've got to turn them into fractions with a common denominator. So in this case, I can turn 3 quarters into twelfths by multiplying by 3. So that's the same as 9 is to 12. Multiply top and bottom by 2. That gives me 10 is to 12. My denominators are the same, and therefore the ratio in simplified form is 9 is to 10. Okay, so I'm on the next page for you to try. Go ahead and simplify um, each of these ratios, please. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you went. Okay, the first one, I've got one uh, digit after the decimal point here. So to get rid of that, I multiply both numbers by 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 0.4 times 10 is 4, so the ratio is 20 is to 4. 4 is the highest common factor. So I'm going to divide both numbers by 4. Oops, that was a bit of a dumb thing to do. Let me just go get that get that line back if I can. There we go. So I shouldn't have probably written over there. I'll just leave that. Uh, 20 divided 4 is 5. 4 divided 4 is 1. And the simplified ratio is 5 is to 1. Here, I have to multiply by 100 because I have two decimal places, two numbers after the decimal point. So I divide times 100 times 100. 
and that's going to give me 30 is 2, 45. Now I know that 15 goes into each of those, so I'm going to divide by 15. I'll just write it on one side. Nothing wrong with that. 30 divide 15 is 2, 45 divide 15 is 3, and the simplest ratio, or the way to simplify that ratio ends up being 2 is to 3. Okay, this one's fairly straightforward because my denominator is 5. In simplest form, the ratio is 3 is to 4. And for this one, I've got to get a common denominator of 10. Well, this one already has a denominator of 10, so that needs nothing done to it. Multiply top and bottom by 2. That gives me 8 is to 10. And therefore, in simplest form, the ratio is 3 is to 8. So it takes a little bit of practice, but uh, simplifying ratios that involve decimals and fractions um, with a bit of practice isn't all that hard.